Okay, I'm going to take you into the process and show you two of our really greatest transformations. Uh, I'm going to start with Jack. So Jack came to me as a trainer. He was doing CrossFit and he had been working about 40 to 60 hours per week for the last couple of years. Uh, we worked on getting his exercise and his nutrition matched up. So let's just take a look, uh, first of all, at all the data that I've got on this guy. He was a master at recording data, and that really helped me help him. Uh, we've got heaps of photos. And take a look at this, program one, week three, uh, program two, week six. We've got easily about 30 meal records there, and these are 12-week programs. So he finished up here on the, the program seven. Uh, this was just before COVID struck. <clears throat> so uh, master of recording data. Now with all of that data there, I'm not going to be able to really do it justice in this video, but let's take a, a little bit of a dive into his photos first. Uh, and just so you can see them and match them up. So this is where he started with his transformation. Cool. So not in bad shape, but you can see he's a bit soft around the belly, right? And he clearly wanted to work on some stuff. So this was his first meal record here. Uh, and I'll just show you the first day for time's sake. But what you can see here is he's eating pretty well. He's got a good meal frequency. There's protein in every meal and there's plant food in every meal, but the quantities aren't very well documented. Now, We'll fast forward the process now and take you into about halfway through to show you what he looked like. And then we're going to match up the meal record. So you can see now he's starting to tighten up around that midsection. He's lost a lot of the puffiness around his shoulders. You can see his collarbones and his chin, neck more defined, smiling. So he's quite happy with the results so far. And this is his second meal record here. So. As you can see, much more detail, 240 grams of, uh, of beef in that meal. Okay, so we've got some uh, whey protein here. We've got some plant food and he's, he's recording in cup measurements. So there's a lot more consistency across the food that he's eating as well, which is really good. Let's take a look now at his last photos and just see the, the, the main difference between beginning and ending on this transformation keeping in mind that he did seven programs now look at that look how tight and lean he was here all right looks fantastic you want to see the meal record let's shoot look at that 12 egg whites still eating an egg he's got pumpkin rocket black coffee so you can see he's eating much leaner. Look, 250 grams of beef, 280 grams of beef. So he had a, a fair bit there. Uh, he wasn't very accurate in his portionings, but he gave a good range. And what I want you to take from this is, had he have started just eating this, it would have been too much for his gut. It would have been too much for his lifestyle. He wouldn't have had the underlying habits. He wouldn't have had the nutritional conveyor belt of food prep efficiency to be able to get this much food into him. So what I see a lot in, a, in transformation is people skip to the end and they try and eat like this for as long as they can. And it only lasts about six, 12 weeks. If they're really determined, it could almost last a year. But as soon as they stop eating like this, well, they lose the result. Okay. So if you, uh, resonated with this journey if you're exercising a lot and you're not seeing the results that you want to see if exercise is actually making you tired fatigued and you have less energy uh, consider that you may not be eating enough and that you may need to match your exercise with your nutrition and you'll need to do it not in a week but over a good 12 months and if you want help with that reach out